In this video, I want to show you how to get around one of the problems of sharing PowerPoint in Zoom. The problem is that to share PowerPoint, you need to run the slideshow in full screen mode. And normally we're showing that on to a separate presenter, a separate uh, overhead projector, and that's okay. But when we're showing it on our desktop, part of the problem is by the name of what you're doing it shows it full screen which means it takes up the full screen and then it's sometimes for some people hard to find their other applications and even the zoom window itself let me show you what i mean so here we are in zoom i've set up a meeting i'm in that meeting um, perhaps five or ten minutes before my audience joins i'm just getting myself ready and i want to share the powerpoint presentation so at the moment powerpoint is running in design mode. I don't want to share design mode with my audience. I want to share the full screen slides that I've created. So there are two ways to do this. The first way is to now run the presentation by hitting this button here or various other options to run it in full screen and then share it. But let me show you the problem there. So I'm going to run it in full screen, in full screen, which means I can't see anything else. So the first problem for many people, unless you know what to do, and I'm about to show you what to do, is how do I get back to my uh, Zoom window to even share this. So the way around this on a Mac is to hold down the command key with your thumb and then tap the tab key. Every time you tab tap the tab key, it moves to an open application on your desktop. The same works by the way on a PC, it's just the alt and the tab key. So you keep your thumb on the tab, uh, the alt or the command key on the Mac and just keep cycling through until the cursor or the square box lands on the application you want to open and in this case it's zoom I need to get up the zoom window now so the box is around zoom, the zoom window I let go of my thumb and it brings to the front of the screen the zoom window so I can now get the button I want which in this case is share screen choose the PowerPoint that's running in full screen and share that and off we go so we're now ready for people to join but you see the problem there that um, the first problem is once it's running in full screen, some people struggle to find the Zoom window itself. Um, as I'm now running it in full screen mode and sharing this, it, it's not too bad. I can still, within Zoom, I can call up my chat box, move that to one side perhaps. I can call up my breakout room dialog box if I'm going to be using that a little bit later on. I can call up my participant window. For me though, they, they just all take up, you know, they're going to mask part of the slide, which isn't ideal for me. I'd really like to be able to see everything that my audience is seeing without anything obscured, particularly if I'm maybe going to get them to do some annotations and I want to be able to see everything. Um, so it, it's it's just a bit, little bit of a fudge for me. The other thing is if you want to go into any other application outside of Zoom whilst you're running this in full screen mode, perhaps um, you want to go to the email for some reason, the only way, again, I can do that is to hold down the command key or alt on a PC and tab through as long as I've got email open, once I land there, I can let go and it'll take me across to email. Again, some people might then panic and think, oh, how do I get back to, to Zoom? Actually, you can just hit resume share and it should go back here. So it's not great. There are ways around it and it depends how proficient you are with some of the keyboard shortcuts. But let me show you uh, to um, Zoom and um, let me get back there and stop the share. Okay, so we're back here on this main screen. Let me call up. PowerPoint and put it into the right window. It's just moved around a little bit. Okay, so we're back to where we were. Um, the other way, which is the same problem, is just before I share the screen, rather than run it here full screen and then share, a slightly different way is to share the screen, choose PowerPoint in design mode, share that, but then immediately run it, one of the issues. But you still have the same problem that it's now taking up the full screen. You can't uh, get to your mail application if you need it, etc, um, etc. Et so let me show you the way around all of this. If I come out around all of this is within PowerPoint itself in the design mode is to go into the slideshow option here. So slideshow um, and then this option called setup show. And what's causing all of this problem is this option here, which is the default, that when you show a PowerPoint presentation, it should be shown in full screen. So there is a way around that, and that's to go and choose this second option, browse by an individual in a window. So choose that, and then hit OK. And now when you run PowerPoint, and you hit the button to bring it up into full screen mode, which I'll do there. Let me just make sure it's on the right desktop. 
I ignore all this. This is just Mac um, being a bit strange sometimes with multiple windows. There we go. So it's now running in full, it sounds a bit strange. It's running in full screen mode, but within a window. Um, so that is a full version of the PowerPoint slide running in full screen mode, but within a window. So as I click through, it brings up, I can go forwards and backwards through the slides just as if it was running and taking up the full screen. Um, again, remember I haven't shared this now, so I would now in Zoom hit the share screen, um, make sure I'm choosing that, which is what's open now. So everything within the green box is what my Zoom audience will see. So they will just see that, the bit in the green, the green border around. They don't see my full screen, of course. So it looks to them as if I am running it and taking up my whole desktop, but I know that I'm running it with a window. You can make this window small if you don't need to see everything in there in great detail. You can make that as big and small as you like. Um, as long as you've, you've clicked within this window, then forwards, backwards, all of those kinds of things work up and down, next page, previous page, all the animations work. And what I can also do then is I can call up my chat window and have that in a completely separate, you know, it's not taking up part of the um, shared screen, so I can still see what's going. I can call up all of these windows, take up as much or as little space as I like on the screen here. I can even go onto other applications, go onto my desktop. It's just for me a whole lot neater. I feel a whole lot like I'm in control um, when I run it this way. Um, so I hope that's helpful. Um, if you found that useful, then do have a look at some of my other hints and tips and tricks on my YouTube account. And if you um, find that useful, feel free to share the videos with others or subscribe to my channel. I'll keep adding more as I think of the various tips and tricks over the next few days.